Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for the good health and complete healing of Donald Arsenal. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your unfathomable providence I please to send your holy angels to guard us. Hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, See, I am sending an angel before you to guide you on the way and bring you to the place I have prepared. Be attentive to him and heed his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not forgive your sin. My authority resides in him. If you heed his voice and carry out all I tell you, I will be an enemy to your enemies and a foe to your foes. My angel will go before you and bring you to the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hivitites, and Jebusites, and I will wipe them out. The word of the Lord. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guide you in all your ways. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guide you in all your ways. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The Lord has put angels in charge of you, guard you in all your ways. 
but he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler, from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. His faithfulness is a buckler and a shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the devastating plague at noon. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near your tent. For to his angels he has given command about you, that they guide you in all your ways. The Lord has put angels in charge of you to guide you in all your ways. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you ministers who do his will. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child, such as this, in my name, receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you, that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father, The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I learned about the angels, I was young, I was a kid. I remember learning about guardian angels at that age. And in the gospel today, Jesus speaks to a child. I remember my mother explaining heaven and telling me what it was like and drawing pictures to try to help me understand. 
and the picture included clouds and a beautiful gate. And we looked at all these drawings of angels with different crowns to try to help me understand. And I remember one drawing of my grandfather, who was a firefighter, who had his firefighter's helmet on and um, the fire hose and everything. And unfortunately, he passed away. And when he did that, I drew a picture of him in heaven wearing that firefighter's um, uniform. It's good for all of us to remember that we do have a guardian angel. And it is for our protection, for our help throughout our lives. Our guardian angel helps us to hear messages from God and helps us to live well. God is so good and he loves us so much that he gave us angels. We hear different stories from St. Michael, from St. Gabriel, and so on and so forth. And we notice on the altar here, we have two angels with us. We have these statues. Angels really are God's gift to us. And that is the point that Jesus is making in the gospel today. We are meant to enjoy and appreciate our lives of service to God as little children and to have hope in eternal life in our eternal homeland, which is heaven. Amen. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, for the Church, that she may adopt listening and dialogue as a lifestyle at every level, and allow herself to be guided by the Holy Spirit towards the peripheries of the world. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, he is a voice of wisdom as he participates in the upcoming Synod on Synodality. We pray to the Lord. For Father Sean's installation and reception next Saturday at the 4 p.m. Mass, and that everyone will remember when it is, and joyfully attend. We pray to the Lord. For homeless veterans, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. and for the repose of the souls of the faithfully departed. We pray to the Lord. This morning, we, we remember the good health and complete healing of Donald Arsenault, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord.
Father, we thank you for hearing all of the prayers that we offer you. We ask that you answer them according to your will. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight, redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Bishop Sean, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us. 
us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only save the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you, my God.
Let us pray. As you are pleased to nourish us for eternal life with so great a sacrament, O Lord, direct us by the ministry of angels into the way of salvation and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.